Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I wanted to hop on here and share with you all the Halloween amigurumis I've been making this year to leave outside for my trick-or-treaters. Last year I left out nine along with the candy. They were just little ghosts, really simple. Um, and they all were taken. So that I decided last year that this year I wanted to make three a month from January through October so that I would have 30 by Halloween to leave out with the candy for the neighborhood kids. We live in an apartment complex so there's, there's a good amount of kids but not like a ridiculous amount but anyways i'm gonna go through them and show them all to you they're all free patterns there's only one that was kind of um tricky and i'll talk to that one about it when i get to it so let's just go ahead and hop in they'll all be linked down below like i said they're all free so woo. <laughs> no particular order because i can't remember what order i made them in <laughs> so i just wrote them all down <laughs> and um we'll just go through them so first is Candy Corn by My Amigurumi Farm. That is actually the most recent one that I made, I think. I made, yeah, I just finished these. I made these yesterday. I think so. But here they are. So it's just three Candy Corn and Amigurumis. They, their pattern had like a face on it, but I didn't do the face. But I just did that. It's Red Heart Super Sever Yarn. I think it's white, bright yellow, and carrot. Because <laughs> uh, pumpkin is like a darker orange. And I used a G hook. Most of these I used either a G4 millimeter or a F3.75 or 2.5, whatever it is. But here's that one. It turned out really cute. So it's three of those. Let me open my box. I've got to take the lid off so I can chuck them back in there. All right. Next is Fabulous <laughs> Mini Ghost by the Loopy Lamb. These ones were also recent. These were September's. <laughs> and, uh, okay. A few notes about this. One, they're supposed to have witch hats, and I did not make them because I didn't want to. <laughs> and two, I decided to do their faces with puffy paint. Uh, so their faces look a little wonky. <laughs> and one of them's face got a little smushed because while it was still wet, it takes a while for that to dry. I accidentally hit it. But uh, they're just ghosts. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> so let me get their faces turned around. So here's this pattern. I just used puffy paint. Just black puffy paint. <laughs> two of them have smiles, and one has like a ghost. <laughs> Let's see here. The one that I messed up. I think it's this one. I mean, it's, they're still cute. <laughs> so there's the three little ghosts. There's actually two sets of candy corns and two sets of ghosts, but they're slightly different. <laughs> Next is the Smallish Witch, and it's by Emigrimi To Go. I love this pattern. I've made it. I've made four, but one was for myself a couple years ago. But so I didn't make three of them. So here's the first one. She is purple and green. I can't remember all the yarns, but there's one, and here is the second one. She is black and orange. Oh, her hair's all over the place. <laughs> she has safety eyes. The other one had stitched on eyes. And then the third one is black and white, and she has safety eyes too. I really love this pattern. It's a really fun pattern. It's cute. It's got a lot of pieces, but it turns out really cute. So there's my three witches. Next is the other candy corns. It is called Amigurumi Candy Corn by Line Brand. <laughs> so it's just it's just more candy corns, but it's a different shape. These are more uh, triangular. Now I've got hair on it. Always. <laughs> but there's that one. So this is a free uh, PDF download from Ravelry. I mean, not Ravelry. <laughs> Line Brand. But cute. Same color as the other ones. The other ones are just round, and those ones are triangular. Uh, and then the other ghost is How the Littlest Ghost by Cafe Del Craft. And this is a much littler pattern. Get them where I can face them all the right way. And they have safety eyes. <laughs> Two of them have smiles and one has just like a face. <laughs> but they're so cute. That's that one. Next is Halloween Kitty Bean by K Hook Creations. I made these all three in bright orange, <laughs> really bright orange. And they got little sunglasses on. These sunglasses I got from Amazon. I'll leave them linked down below as well if you want to check them out. And I did try to stitch on little noses. <laughs> I don't know if they look like noses. But they're cute. They're kind of like a rag doll. You make two panels and then put them together. So that's the keys. Where are we? Alright, next is the Creepy Cute Eyeballs by Crochelle by Danielle Ray. So here's the eyeballs. <laughs> this one's off-white. The other two are white, white, and they just got like blood veins on them and the different color irises. Big old eyeballs. I ended up making five of these. Two I had to make two for Jesse. They're purple, I think, and they have like veins hanging off of them. He wanted them with veins. 
there's the eyeballs. Uh, next is the Halloween Toad Toads by Roman Sock. <clears throat> this is a pattern that's kind of tricky. Uh, this took a little bit of um, finessing. I had to like do my own thing with their mouths. <laughs> but here's the toes. Okay, here's the first one. Orange and purple. Got big old eyes. They're glittery and purple. And then I made this one. It's purple and green. It's got smaller eyes. That's toys. And then this one is green and brown. I did. This is the first one I made. This is the pattern. See how the butt is more of the bottom color? For the other two, I altered it and took the body color down further. And then the mouth, I couldn't figure out. Like, it wouldn't work out right for me, so I just kind of <clears throat> winged it. <laughs> but they're all cute. So, toads. One, two, three. Uh, Alright. Next is Marsh Bat by Glass Hands. And they're supposed to be like little marshmallow bats. These ones, I never did like these. I always thought, when I made them, I thought they were goofy looking. And I still think they're goofy looking. This one's got little, like... Triangle eyes. These ones have um, French knot eyes, which I'm not the best French knot maker, <laughs> but I do try. They're kind of goofy looking. They kind of look like bats, but maybe the kids will like it. If not, that's okay. <laughs> but there's the little bats. All right, and the last one is the No So Amigurumi Spider by Chicken Soodle Noop. I made a lot of these spiders. So here's the black one. And they got curly Q legs. Black. No, I'm not been the best one to show you first. <laughs> And then I made a red one. These are the first things I made. I made these in January. And then I made a green one. They do have little uh, pincher thingies. And little cheeks. These are no sew. But I actually do sew in the legs just to make sure that they're on there good. They're, um, you're supposed to like make the legs first. And then when you're working on the bodies, tie them in there. But I do kind of weave them in a little bit so that they're there securely. But that is all the amigurumis that I made for my trick-or-treaters. That's 30 amigurumis. <laughs> and I really wish I had one of those cameras on my door so I could watch them. See, like, see if they get excited and stuff. But I do not. And I don't think I'll get one in the next few weeks. But it would have been fun to see it. But it would still be fun to come home and them all be gone. <laughs> so I am looking forward to that on Halloween night. I'll leave it outside with a bucket of candy. And then all the amigurumis just kind of sitting around it. <laughs> and I might make a sign in trying to get people to just take one per kid so that uh you know one family doesn't end up taking them all but of course i can't control that <laughs> unless i was there but uh hopefully enough kids you know each everybody who comes will get one hopefully and uh if there's any extras then i don't mind if someone takes them but that is all the little amigurumis that i made i'll leave all those links down below like i said they're all free and only the toad i had issues with but um it's really i just altered his butt <laughs> And uh, I had trouble with his mouth. It could have just been me. Um, but I like the pattern. It's still really cute. <laughs> so, yeah. Check them out if you want to. And I think I'll do this again next year. Maybe I'll make my goal like five. Depending on how good they do this year. If they all go, maybe I will make like five a month. Because that will be 50 <laughs> by October. Um, that's pretty good. This one does have glittery eyes too. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and uh, let me know if you've been making any Halloween amigurumis. If you've made any of these ones, let me know. I'd love to see them. You can email me your pictures or you can post them on the Facebook group. Or if you made any ones that I didn't mention, go ahead and let me know about that too. Because I would love to check them out and maybe make them, put them on my list for next year. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys in the video. Bye guys.